everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to DC Worlds 2019. As you can see, I have a big mess of a deck prepared for you today. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you're live with me on Twitch, thank you so much for joining me today. And so we are now going to be playing with Zoro Rock, Muk, Persian, Slow King, Machamp, Marshado. <laughs> Um, with another Marshall and a Dene, so you can see this is basically the whole Pokedex in one deck. We have Zorak GX, trade ability, discard a card, draw two, and then Righteous Bidding, dealing 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play, up to 120, 150 with choice band, 170 um, with Kukui, and 180 with Devoured Field and all of the previous cards mentioned. We also have the Lycanroc GX, good old Lycanroc, 200 HP ability, Bloodthirsty Ice. You can switch your opponent's active with one of the benched Pokemon of your choice. Claw Slash dealing a very solid 110 damage, and then Dangerous Rogue GX dealing 50 damage for each of their benched Pokemon. And then new pairings we have, uh, well we have our good old Alola Mok as well with Power of Alchemy and good old Tapu Lele. But then we have first off Persian GX, where the Catwalk ability if one of your GXs was knocked out during the previous turn, you can search your deck for any two cards and put them into your hand. So a really nice ability to have, along with the attack Vengeance, 10 plus 20 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. We do have a lot of Pokemon, so Vengeance could pile up to a very high number. Removing Slashback deals 150 and you switch Persian, similar to um, Golisopod. Next up, we have our Slow Kink with the Psychic Attack, as seen in the other Zorak deck. Um, 60 damage plus 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon exclusively basically a Regizard counter and then we have our good old <laughs> Marshadow and Machamp GX a huge Pokemon 270 HP the attack revenge if any of your Pokemon are knocked out by damage from an opponent's attacks during their last turn this attack does 90 more damage um, with a counter gain that is 120 for a single energy just like baby puzzle but Anytime a, a Pokemon has been knocked out, it's uh, potentially good to counter Picarom, it's potentially good for the mirror matches, so it's just an option to have. And then 100 blows impact, 160 damage, not terribly difficult to power up with the counter gain. Same for Acme of Heroism GX, dealing 200 damage for Fighting Fighting and the counter gain. Um, or Fighting Fighting and a DCE allows you to um, use Acme of Heroism and then if Marshadow and Match MGX would be knocked out during the next turn, you get protection and you survive with 10 HP, ready to be a Zero Let Up, which we do not run in this deck. Um, one the 10 HGX to draw extra cards, one Ditto to become any of our multiple stage ones, and then one Marshadow as a kind of like a puzzle counter, but the ability resetting hold, discarding a stadium um, can be... Uh, really useful, especially for those Prism Stadium cards. And then Red Knuckles deals 10 damage plus 60 more if there is an Ultra Beast in play. Um, Supporter wise, we have the Lily Engine, 4 Lily, 2 Judge, 2 Guzmas, 1 Cynthia, and 1 Kukui, along with our trusty 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Nest Ball, and um, 3 Communication, which will always be active basically because we have so many Pokemon. Um, 1 Divard Field, 1 Field Blower. Two choice band, one counter gain, one triple acceleration energy, four DCs, and four unit energy. So let's see if this mess of a deck <laughs> can actually do something. Binder Drop GX would be an accurate description of this deck. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how it ends up working out. Yeah, hopefully it ends up working nicely. We shall see. We are up against a dark type deck, presumably. Um, let's see the, the good version of Zorak Greninja, right? Because a lot of people on YouTube criticized that my build for Zorak Greninja was bad. I think the deck is bad no matter how you build it, but let's see if my opponent can prove me wrong. He is going to go first, which is pretty decent. Don't think I'll be needing Slow King. Um, unless we're up against Zorak, right? Unless we're up against Zorak. Paul, thank you so much for the host. Pablo Rock. Um, okay. So we see a Spirit Tomb. Plus you in return before attacking me. Put one damage counter on this Pokemon and then 10 plus 
30 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Um, there's the unit energy. There's a Jirachi. So I have no idea what this deck is now. <laughs> I am doing well, thank you. How about you? Spiritum, Umbra, and Hoopa, Jirachi? Maybe. Maybe. <clears throat> Definitely Spiritum, right? <laughs> Definitely Spiritum. With no Acerolas in this deck, I am worried. Not gonna lie, I am worried. These crazy Japanese players, how do I not play Acerola? We see a Giraffric <laughs> getting discarded. What? So we see a Spirit Tomb piling up the damage. Piling up the damage pretty nicely for my opponent. Um, definitely want the Grimer, right? Definitely want the Grimer, because then if I like, it seems like my opponent's relying on a lot of basic abilities. So if I establish that Ditto, I'm gonna be pretty comfortable here because the mock isn't priced. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good, Paul. That's pretty good. Okay, and we do manage to uh, establish the Ditto. We have guaranteed mock as well. And I'm imagining, I'm assuming, like I don't need ben to bench Rock Rock and attach to it. I'm assuming my opponent will take a KO on my Zorua, which is completely fine by me because then I go attach, counter gain, KO. Um, so yeah, I think we're in a good spot. Shrine is annoying. We do have two shrine counters, right? We do have two shrine counters. So hopefully that's not too much of a problem. And I feel like my opponent's deck will just end up stalling here. Does find the Guzma, will go after the Grimer or the Ditto. Doesn't make a difference to me, honestly. <laughs> Spiritum indeed, Peter. Spiritum indeed. This list lo looks like it's trying to beat literally every deck. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Um, Gabriel, <laughs> I I mean, that question, we don't know like anything about the new set from... What? Is he gonna go after my Lele? Does he have knockout on the Lele? Um, we don't know anything about... Um, about the new set, right? Like, there's still a whole new set which we don't know anything about. Yeah, so worrying about post-rotation, like, I can't comment on post-rotation other than, like, last time we lost Sycamore and N and people were very panicked about it and it was fine, right? And this time we're losing crucial cards and it's gonna be fine, the game changes the game adapts, yeah? So, there's not much else to say, I think. Yeah, at, at this point, we don't know. There's a whole other complete set that we have no information on. Like, not this, this. There's a brand new set. Oh, I should have promoted the Ditto. Why did I not promote the Ditto? That was so silly. <laughs> that was so wasteful. That was so wasteful. So it's like, yeah, d does that make sense? Like, worrying about something like that just doesn't make sense to me. Um, first off, as a player, for who I am, um, my next tournament is this weekend. So whatever happens at Worlds doesn't matter until my next tournament is Worlds. And then, on the other hand, there's still at least 200 unknown cards, right? In the unified mindset that we have no information whatsoever on. Absolutely none. So how can I worry about post-rotation? Like maybe they reprint DC and Ultra Ball. Maybe they don't, yeah? I definitely don't know. That's the, the only thing I do know is that I don't know. So it's really, wow, that's a nice top deck. Thank you so much, deck. Um, the only thing that we know is that Spiritum is winning worlds, indeed. Uh, 
Okay, so I should trade first. Pablo, be good. Be good. I could trickster GX and copy his anguish cry. Give my opponent a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> um, I got the field blower, which seems decent, right? And Rockruff seems pretty decent as well. Um, so yeah, like as as a player, it's like I see all these people panicking about post rotation worlds and people saying, "Oh, the format's gonna suck. It's gonna feel like pre season." Like you don't know. You literally don't know. Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Yeah, wreck that spirit of now. Yeah, and then exactly, it's all about adapting, right? Like I'm not concerned about what I lose. I'm concerned about what I'm like. That I'm not worried about what I won't have. I'm worried about what I will have in order to win worlds. Yeah, that's that's what I'm worrying about. Oh my gosh, he actually has baby Boswell, and he has the cards in his hand to pull off the baby Boswell. Come on. Come on, deck. Come on. KO Baby Boswell is actually gonna be very difficult. <laughs> Someone knows, yeah. Someone definitely knows. I think we're gonna lose <laughs> to the Spirit Tomb deck because of Baby Boswell. Oh my gosh. We needed Persian. We needed that Rock Ruff to be Persian. We needed that rock rough to be Persian. Can I get my Devoured Field and a DCE? Should I trade first? Uh. <laughs> uh I even removed the thing and he got another one. Okay, I kind of like trading first. Because I still have Kukui options. Uh, 28 cards. I'm not gonna get it. Right? I'd rather give myself the two chances, I guess. Come on, Kukui. No, that's not Kukui. Uh, so I have to retreat then? <laughs> I have to retreat. Seize. Uh, then I'm gonna have to find another DC. But anyways, okay. So you can have my Grimer. Oh, duh, <laughs> duh! I could have killed the Jirachi to get off Sledgehammer turn. How dumb am I? <laughs> yep. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. What? Well played? He has... Oh no, he has a good one. So why would you nest ball? What the heck is this deck? <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. No, no. That was very bad. That was very bad. That was very, very bad. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that was actually very bad. The Spirit Tomb with Baby Buzzle is cute because you can KO your own Spirit Tomb and activate the Sledgehammer. That's very cute. Um, that was very silly though, on my side. Not gonna lie. That was very, very silly. Um, like KO there and then he hits me for 60 and then I go something judge, right? Oopsies. <laughs> I got something, Judge. I got Tunnel Vision. I got Tunnel Vision. I don't think it was a complicated decision, actually. Uh, that was very straightforward. That was just very silly. He nest balled to show, yeah, to show us more of his brilliant <laughs> Um, I did show it already ASAP. Um, I'll be happy to show it again. Yeah, I'll be happy if you remind me after like one or two games depending on how long this one is um, that guy's deck was pretty cool <laughs> yeah um, if you oh there's trust your pilot <laughs> you decided to 
to just stun with the early Lele KO. Yeah, I, I made a big mistake there. Um, not killing the Jirachi. GG, trust your pilots. Everyone was like impressed by your deck. Uh, okay, so we're up against Vika. <laughs> we're up against Vika something. Um, which is gonna be very bad for us. Yeah, let's just go for Zorua. And then I think I just go Ultra Wolf, the Communication, and the Lily. And then establish Ditto, right? Establish the Ditto. And I'm gonna hunt down Grubbins like there's no tomorrow. So I'll attach there already. I don't fear for my um, Zorua's life. And then definitely set up another Zorua. Don't think I'll be needing Muck this game. Uh, I'm honestly very tempted. I am honestly... Huh, Slowpoke could actually be decent. Right? Slowpoke could actually be decent. Um, like, Slowking against a Ray, that's 60, plus 3, that's 120, 150, meh. Not good enough. Yeah, I should save the Choice Band for... Choice Band, Kukui, Divar Field. So I'll attach it to this Urua. And I, I honestly wanted the 10 AGX here. I honestly wanted the 10 AGX. Let's go for it. My instinct tells me to the 10 AGX. Because my hand was is so bad otherwise. Right? Now this is much better looking. This has to retreat though, that's really sad. Um look, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Um what new cards does Malamar get, Basti? I actually haven't updated I mean I updated Malamar and then I like I looked at my list, I have not added a single new card. I don't think Malamar gains anything from the new set. Um, nothing relevant, at least. Um, nothing that I could see. And I was looking at Japanese results as well. Um, none of them had like anything too too relevant. I won't be able to stop Jirachi. I definitely. Oh, this is just V Cobalt though. Oh, nice top deck, Pablo. <laughs> That's super lucky. Uh, do I want to get rid of the field blower here? No, the lily I would say is better. Um, thank you so much, you look. And then I'll evolve. I... Do I want to trade? One of the energies, I guess, is not terrible. I want to keep the Cynthia as an option. Uh, this is pretty nice just to get another Rockruff established. And I will go ahead and Guzma. Try KO the Jirachi. Should I KO his only acceleration? No, I should KO the Grubbin because then I will have the Lycan Rock threat on whatever he does, right? Um, so yeah, this is not like the Dugong, Gerardo. You've been having a lot of success with Spiritum Ultra Beasts. It's like Sabdos Jirachi Beast, except you can hit a higher damage output with enough time. Yeah, that's true. I can see that. Double head flip on the Charger Bugs. What does Charger Bug even do? It's an, it's an extra energy, right? Or something like that. Uh, Lily. Lily, Lily, Lily. It's an extra energy that you can only attach to Pika Vault, I think. Um, Shadow Champ Tag Team, indeed. With a counter gain. <laughs> Ask the Japanese players, man. They they were doing really well with it. I definitely, I looked at it and I was like, wait, what? But with a counter gain, I mean, it's another out to Pikram, I guess. Yeah, double electric energy that you can attach to Vika Volt only, right? Double electric energy that you can just, out of your way, attach. Yeah, attach on an ability. Okay. Uh, I definitely go after the Charger Bug then. Because clearly my opponent doesn't have her candy. I don't have Mog, now that I see the Jirachi, but I didn't see the Jirachi before. Uh, Cuello del Panda, muchas gracias. Muchas, muchas gracias. Eh, te agradezco mucho los cinco dólares. Que amable. <laughs> muchas gracias. Um... Okay, so what's my plan here? My plan is to trade. I want to try and use the tag team. Somehow. I'm going to try and use the tag team somehow. 
Um, yeah, I don't think I'll need Field Blower at this point. Yeah, it doesn't count as an attach for a turn. I'll just evolve, right? Well, yeah, I'll just evolve. And I'll get another trade. And then... Okay, I got the Guzma. Yeah, because I don't want to deal with the Vika Volts. Definitely don't want to deal with Vika Volts. So I'll just Righteous Beating. Okay, Shadow Tag Champ. Shadow Champ Tag Team gives you the Noble Victory Track in Nostalgia. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is true. Y nuevamente con el panda, muchísimas gracias. <laughs> muchísimas gracias. Haré lo posible por ganar el mundial. <laughs> Siempre lo intento. <laughs> Yo muchos años intentando. Um, Okay. Eh, el Charger Bug is solo sobre Vika Bolt. Solo sobre Vika Bolt. Yeah, Charger Bug's ability only works on Vika Bolt. Okay, so there's a Vika Bolt. Uh, there's a Stadium card in play. This Pokemon has no weakness. Oh, so that's why you need the Field Blower. Attachment, uh, Charger Bug, ability, battery. He will get two prizes, but then. Uh, we're not losing, so we can't use um, counter gain. I could just Kukui, right? I could just Kukui. I don't know if it's in the deck though. Now nah, let's play it safe. No reason to give this sort of deck a free win. Um, so yeah, if if there was a stadium, I would have to go for the Kukui, right? There was a stadium. I would have to go for the Kukui. That would not be great. And there's the Lycan Rock. Obviously, not gonna use the ability. I mean, yeah, not gonna use the ability. Not gonna bother. Bench the Rock Ruff. Nah, let's bench this guy to show it off. And then we're gonna Claw Slash. And then we're gonna Claw Slash. We got a prize. I wanted to take two. That hits so hard that I kind of wanted to take too. Um, absolutely, you're surprised no one tried Seal Valley with the memories and triple colorless energy. Yeah, Seal Valley with triple color, I mean triple acceleration energy um, is actually pretty interesting. Um, the issue is like, for example, you have the water memory, so you become water type and then you deal 240 to Charizard. That's still not enough to KO it. Yeah, it's barely enough to KO Pigram. It's not enough to KO um, 2KO, there's a victory. It's not enough to go with Regisart, so that's the biggest um, issue. Yeah, that is the biggest issue. And yeah, guys, unfortunately, I haven't eaten anything and I have coaching starting in half an hour, so I'm gonna have to leave it here, yeah? Um, I invite you guys to try out the Zorok. I think Zorok is still viable. Maybe not this mess of a list. The Matchamp seems super gimmicky. Um, Persian also seems kind of difficult to set up. Edgo, thank you so much for the follow. Um, I'll show the Pigram list that you requested. There's gonna be a Pigram list in the Zorok video. That's pretty funny. Um, this is what I that, what I showcased earlier for Turbo Pigram with the Electro. Electromagnetic Raider and the um, the Denes, and it worked out decently well. Um, so yeah, guys, that will be all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. Sorry, I have to cut the video a little bit earlier than I would have liked to, um, and the stream as well. But um, I have a crazy busy schedule uh, with all the traveling. Um, coaching everything it's just it's may is going to be another crazy month for me but then finally june should be much more stable but i really appreciate the um the support white ray in this list for the ability you can attach an extra energy and then send it to pigram to get a pigram attacking as early as possible and um ace <laughs> gg were you the big old player um and thank you gabriel i appreciate it the Zapdos Beast list, you want to see that, I can show that as well. 
there it is. Yeah, the Zapdos Ultra Beast list that I used. One Marshadow would have won us one of the matches that we lost. Not a big deal, I think. Uh, Marshadow always decent. The Jolteon could be gimmicky. Uh, maybe this is a bit gimmicky as well. Um, so definitely some flexible spots. Uh, maybe the Cartana is just a better um, grass type attacker. And yeah, that will be all for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye.